Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ozzy and I'm back again with another unboxing video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Leverback Esports Gaming Paddles. If you're unfamiliar, these are a an attachment that you put on your DualSense 5 controller to give it two additional paddles in the back, like some of the expensive Scuf Gaming controllers or the Xbox Elite controllers. You only get two, you don't get four, but uh, it does do the job for that. Now, I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like in a second. Just a quick disclaimer that the company uh, behind the lever back did send me this product to review. They asked if they can send it over so I can review it. And I agreed only if I can give my honest and open opinion. And they said, sure, why not? So here we are. I'm gonna get my unbiased and open opinion about this product. This product is about $25 on Amazon uh, and I will link my affiliate link in the description. If you are interested in picking this up, I would uh, really appreciate you use my affiliate link as it'll throw a couple bucks my way and support the channel that way. So with that being said, let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy. Just a quick look at the box here. Very retro looking, very 80s looking box here. Nothing, nothing crazy. Like I mentioned, this thing is 25 bucks. So they're gonna skimp out a little bit on the packaging you do get a warranty card if it'll focus here warranty card here as well as uh, some some additional things right here that's what the product looks like right there if you haven't already seen it it tells you how to install it and all that let's go ahead and throw that to the side and the star of the show is the actual uh, attachment itself now I am going to be mentioning some things that I like about this uh, attachment and some things that I dislike about this attachment. There you go, focused. So this is the attachment itself right here. Now, as you can see, it is mapped to the X and square button only. You can't uh, change them out because it is uh, attached on there permanently. So the way you use it is you press these buttons right here and it'll register the X and square. But Let's go ahead and take a look at how it looks like on the actual controller. And then I'll go ahead and go over some of the pros and cons I see on this attachment. So let's go ahead and install it. All you gotta do is open it, put it through the actual, that's kind of hard to do with behind the camera. There you go. And you close it and then you snap it in. That one snaps in. That one snaps in. That's not going anywhere. That's on there pretty snug. Now I did opt for the white version because I do have the white controller, but they do, I believe, have black and maybe the red, the red version. So they do have white, black, and red. I'm not 100 percent sure. Go ahead and check the link in my description to uh, verify it. So of course, on top you have the cutout for the USB type C. You also have a cutout for the uh, PlayStation logo, as well as the speaker grill and the microphone. You do have a cutout for another mic down here that the controller has, and then you have the port right here, the, head, the headphone jack port. Also, another cutout for the microphone and the reset button. So you do get some instructions here on, uh, I'm not sure what that is, Oh, warranty stuff. So you do get some something like that where you can scan it, a QR code where you can scan it. So as you can see, it's got all the cutouts. You can reach all the buttons perfectly. The issue I have here is the PlayStation and the mute button. Since this is slightly raised, I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me, let me go ahead and try to zoom in a little bit. It's slightly raised. The mute button is a little bit out of reach. You kind of have to use your nail to press it down. The PlayStation button, I don't believe it's it's an issue. You can press that down, no problem. But the issue that I see is the mute button. It's a little bit hard to get, so I suggest uh, either you have some skinny fingers or or nails, you can go ahead and press it that way. So um, no issues with the thumbsticks. I do have the that little foam thing for better aiming, so that's why it doesn't make any sound, but. The buttons press perfectly on here, and the star of the show is these actual uh, paddles and how they, will they register. I'm gonna go ahead and say that after playing a couple games on Fortnite, uh, this does work. 
it does work the the it's not really an issue but the x the x button so you can see it right there presses very easily very very easily with basically no pressure press down on that button the square you have to do a little bit more since it's a little bit farther away you have to press down a little bit more with a little bit more pressure but it does register so as you can see right there i'm pressing it they are registering so on fortnite usually what i do is i have the x and the l1 buttons switched out and that way i can jump and still shoot at the same time and this one i do previous weapon but with this attachment i can go ahead and, and switch it back and then now i'm pressing the x button as you can see right there to jump and it has taken me a little bit of time to get used to it but uh it does work it does work and like i said primarily the jump button is what i need this for and it does work with basically no pressure at all so that's what i like about it the one of the cons i see is that you i have a charging station and this thing will not fit in it so i have to constantly take out the the attachment to charge my controller and you guys already know that the dual sense controller battery is absolute trash <laughs> it lasts like maybe four hours at best so i have to constantly be taking it out and it's a little bit annoying so for the most part the attachment does work you just have to uh, take it off when you're going to go ahead and charge it another issue is that you won't be able to see the led lights that well so at uh, well maybe not not even at all since it covers up all of the led lights so if that's a huge deal for you maybe this thing isn't for you but it's not really a game game uh, or deal breaker for me yeah just to, so you guys know so this thing does work it will register the presses it's 25 dollars if you want to add two back paddles to the to your controller and you don't want to spend big bucks like on a scuff controller or an elite controller though those things are like 200 bucks 250 300 bucks if you just have 25 dollars laying around and you want to get something that works this thing is actually not bad for 25 bucks there are some couple cons like i mentioned you can't see the the lights the mute button's a little bit hard to reach you have to take off the the actual attachment to charge it unless you just a type c connection that you can plug it in that way but if you have a docking station like i do you have to take them out and that's about it for the cons but one great pro on this controller is that it does work as you can see right there i'm pressing the buttons on the bottom it is registering now i don't know how long this little hinge is gonna last me pressing it down but for the most part it does work for 25 bucks it's not a bad deal if you just want something quick and easy that you can just install on your already uh own controller all right guys and that's going to go ahead and do it for this video like i mentioned before i will uh, post my affiliate link in the description if you are interested in picking this up and if you found this video helpful uh hook me up with a like and a subscribe if you're not already subscribed for future videos like this uh, i do a lot of tech and gaming stuff as well so uh, go ahead and subscribe, like, share, all of that YouTube good stuff. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.